<laughs> it's Charlie! <laughs> oh my god, is that moist critical is in the background? <laughs> anyway, <Mr>. welcome <laughs> anyway, welcome back to Phoenix Race Attorney uh, bonus episode. <laughs> yeah, bonus episode, more like boners episode. <laughs> yeah, give me five. Oh, the, holy, that peaked the mic like crazy. <laughs> that hurt my hand. And it caused the dogs to bark. Did it? Yeah. Not your door slamming, but me slapping your hand. Yeah. Um, Mr. Wright, so... What's going on with the case anyway? It's, it's any one, yes. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I'm a little confused. Huh? Well, um, let's see. Let's go. What is going on? <laughs> The victim, Detective Bryce Goodman, was stabbed to death after 5 p.m. on the 21st. Oh, thank you. You saw my phone. He died at the prosecutor's parking lot and the police department's evidence room. What's this and the evidence room part? Girl, you were in the fucking... the, the court with us. <laughs> yeah, she was too busy, uh... thinking scientifically. Yeah, you actually look at her notepad and she was drawing uh, Edgeworth like <laughs> across the, the desk. <laughs> yeah. The prosecutor's office and the police department are 30 minutes away by car. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what we're trying to find out or at least try to. Alright, let's do it. <clears throat> my my voice is spirits. just... Oh my lord, my voice is just so bad. Hang on, let me clear my throat real quick. You good? I, I think I about died. Do you want to spit in the cup? No, I'm good. Okay, good, because I want to eat the ice in here. Don't be so sure, Mr. A. Huh? Look, we're in this together, right? I guess. Right? We're all in this together. All proof that these thick-rimmed glasses of mine aren't just for show. They're actually prescription. <laughs> Let's go. Science awaits us. All right. So you're telling me that since Edgeworth's car is the scene of the crime, how he's been getting to work? Uh, <laughs> I don't he's been to, taking the bus. He's been taking Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Uber wasn't a thing. Yeah, he's been taking like like a taxi. What does actually happen if if you're? Do they just give you like a rental or something? Yeah, my. You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department murder. There wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? Yeah, it was our. It was our only victim who was killed in the evidence room. No biggie. Besides, my sister would never do such a thing. I know it. That oil drum. Was it empty? The oil drum kick kicked over by the chief prosecutor was filled to the brim with water. I was eating ice. <laughs> my sister erasing evidence of the crime scene? Never. I don't know if she says that they don't get along. Emma really likes her sister. Why are you eating ice right now? I love ice. That's not it at all. It's just... We're both professionals at what we do, and I trust her. Big words for a high school student. <laughs> well, whatever... Well, whether there was blood on the floor or not, the water in that wheel drum washed it all away. <laughs> Sorry, I was I was yawning while you were eating your ice. It, it, ice is just popcorn water. That's a weird way of describing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ignore the strength of my science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. Huh? What's that grin for? This situation calls for one thing, and that is... Luminol oh. testing food. You just carry that shit around? Uh, luminol? Blood is sticky stuff, you know. You can't just wash it away with a little water. Yeah, you got that right, Emma. All my ladies out there know that one. <laughs> Even if you can't see it, that's gross. It's still there. Asshole. <laughs> but wouldn't the police have already done those tests? Never trust anyone's eyes but your own, Mr. A. Good, good Just point. Just give it a try. Me? Why do I have to do it? I'm a minor. I can't even drink yet. Good point. We're testing for blood stains in this stuff, not drinking it. Here, look. I'll lend you these glasses. Huh? You had an extra pair of those things? Oh, God. My eyes! <laughs> to test for a blood reaction, just spray the luminol on it. Like this, see? Press enter to spray on it. Okay, let's find us some blood stains. Okay, I was wondering how they're gonna adapt this one. Check the <laughs> you're checking the floor. 
He's like, ah, oh, Mr. Let me just, Mr. Uh... Mr. Rain! <laughs> what are you spelling? I'm making a penis. God damn it! <laughs> oh! You did it! <laughs> Someone spilled some semen Oh, uh, I thought I could- you can't- you can't even move this one around. Yeah, you're, you're told to examine now. I can see her eyes shining behind those glasses. So, this is her blunt stance? No, oh, it's so. Ugh. Emma, you're shaking. It's just. This is my first time seeing real blood. Scientific investigation action. Okay, well, according to this luminal testing sheet, light blue means cum. <laughs> I don't know why that's here. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. That's a little darker. Okay, it is blood. <laughs> yeah, this definitely is a blood stain. It doesn't suddenly strike you as odd, scientifically speaking, of course. What's odd about this, scientifically? Uh... I feel like either, either of these is right. I mean, the location makes sense. That's where the body kind of was. Yeah, but didn't it? It wasn't just supposed to be... Well, whatever. The perpetrator and the detective Goodman fought here, right? Don't you think there should be a little more blood? I definitely think so. I mean... Oh, blood in the sole of the victim's shoe! It is pretty <clears throat> strange. If they fought here, they would have been a bit more blood than this. Oh, hey, Mr. A. I'm gonna mark up the floor plans when we find a blood stain, okay? Alright, cool. Blue means blood. <laughs> See, I'm pretty handy to have around, right? Um, yeah, and this stuff's pretty handy, too. I said it my allowance to buy that. You can just buy fucking chemicals? I wonder where you can buy a luminol testing spray from. Mm. We can't be sure that the police will reveal all their evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. Right. Hmm. It looks like that hidden evidence out to the light of day. Yeah! Feels like we're really investigating a crime now, doesn't it? What were the fuck were we doing yesterday? <laughs> Guess I'll give this a spray on anything suspicious. Uh, I don't know who this huh. is. Oh shit! I wonder how that fluid of yours would react to a nice deli box. Miss Star! Miss Porn Star! You only trust your own eyes, huh? Not bad, you do. Oh, that I would eat that. This day old deli box is on the house. I hate this woman with every fiber of my being. Sorry, it's just that kind of lead is not really getting my mouth watering. To be fair, who want a day old fancy box? Can I like leave and not talk to her? You have to talk to her. <laughs> That's about as red as a sports car can get. Yeah, it was pretty red, alright. The, the body was found as its car trunk, and the lock of the trunk was broken too. So the question is, why did Miss Guy choose his car? So, what model car is it? I think it's called a sedan or a coupe, something like that. Those are car types, Mr. Ray, not models. You're a guy, aren't you, Mr. Ray? You're supposed to know these things. Dude, I drive a bicycle. Maybe it's about time I got my driver's license. <laughs> Mr. Rope, is it? Yep, they laid out the outline of the victim's body. So, wait. The victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. <clears throat> You've got to be the only person I know who would come to that conclusion. Oh, the oil drum. So this is the famous oil drum. Well, no time like the present. I'll try to kick it over myself. Hey, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's. I was not expecting her to actually say that. I just said it. <laughs> to be sure. funny, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, don't cry. That line of sky must be one strong woman. I want drums are pretty heavy because they're meant to have oil, so I'm surprised she just kicked it over that had a bunch of water. Isn't water denser than oil? Uh I can't remember which which is which. Yeah. Oh no, oil floats on top of water. Right? I think so? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's why like oil spills are such a problem in the ocean. Yeah. Wouldn't that be easier to clean since it, it's on the like top layer? It's not like throughout the water. Yeah, but a lot more stuff swims on the top layer of the ocean than. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> from the bottom. B block is through here. That's where visitors park. So, Miss Star climbed over this fence. 
It seems so, yeah. That fence is nine feet high at least. Well, let's time make a present. I think I'll give it a little try. Please don't. <laughs> Aya! <laughs> Emma's dead. It's okay, don't cry. Maybe that lunch lady's a... Maybe there's a lunch lady Olympic scene? Oh, uh, the Olympics did happen this year. I forgot about it. Hey, Block, this area is reserved for prosecutors. Defense areas are delegated to Block B. Hey, I dream of the day when I'll be able to park my car here. I'll go over to B Block to buy my hamburgers from you, Mr. Ray. I'm not planning on giving up my job that soon. I don't want to talk to this bitch. You have to. I'm sorry. Just get it I'm done. I'm gonna try and skip her dialogue by giving her. Shit, yeah. The sprayer? Can you take a look at this? You. Oh god, she's gonna offer us fucking box lunches. You said you wanted some hot tea, right? Uh, no, but thanks. Who doesn't even look at it? Mmm, you must have to brew with these leaves a long time to get much flavor like this. We pre infuse the teas with the steam before brewing. I knew it, so that's the secret of their aroma. Exquisite! The only thing I'm smelling here is always a time. Oh. Uh, what do you think about this? The SL. Yeah, the SL 9 incident. It's written on that knife. And on that note, Goodman. Goodman was the head detective of that case, you know. Really? The knife was evidence in that case, the murder weapon. It was due for transferal the very same day that Goodman was killed. And I suspected. SL9 isn't over, not yet. The only thing you can tell us more about that SL-9 incident. Uh, she responds in this fucking long-ass fashion. No. Look at my shoe! Damn, Daniel! Back out again oh, with those white what do you vans! Think about this? Oh, is it the. Okay, we are. Okay, you can just show her the knife or the note. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Damn, Daniel! Back out again with those white vans! So you were a detective, weren't you, Miss Store? Yes, it was a long time ago. Well, two years ago. No matter how hard in the criminal they face of me. They coughed it up. Coughed it up? They confessed. They babbled like babies. You know. They may like... I may seem like a, a demon sometimes, but I can be an angel too. I wouldn't doubt it. Every day I drag the dirt out of the mouths of suspect after suspect. And after long, they call me the cough-up queen. Oh, here I thought someone had gotten food poisoning from your lunches. Okay, that was pretty funny. And you are let go or fired? I felt that I found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if those prime and proper prosecutors hadn't let me go, I'd still be one today. It all because of that case, the SL9 incident. SL9? Wait, she doesn't mean... You certainly put me on the spot today. My apologies, Miss Star, but um... No, no, it's okay. It's my fault. No, oh, we know. <laughs> Emma. <laughs> I witnessed everything from that security room right there. But I was afraid that I wouldn't sound convincing enough, you see. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Sorry, you lied on the witness stand. That's unforgivable. Little girl, don't forget what's important here. Even if the place I witnessed the events from is different, I still saw what I saw. I saw the chief prosecutor die, stab a man in cold blood, and that testimony still stands. Yeah. I swear it on my honor as a detective. She stabbed Goodman. I know this photograph is something important to tell us, but what? If you think about it, I could have taken that picture from the guards' room. But even I get flustered sometimes. So you want to trace the scene of the crime? 
I rushed towards the chain link friends in an effort to stop the murder. That's when I took this photo, yes. In other words, five minutes after the crime? Those five minutes are the whole problem. The whole of my testimony, as it were. The five minutes weren't the problem, Miss Star. You lying was the problem. You Sorry. bitch. <laughs> you cocksucker. <gasps> Listen, little girl, I had my testimony disregarded before. And I wasn't going to have a disregard again. Just like that time. Flashback! That time? Can we talk to her again? That time I got reincarnated as a slime? I love you. <laughs> that incident really opened up my eyes to the truth. They were... were nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable to who? Prosecutors, I guess. Two years ago, it was the biggest case I've ever handled. The police and the prosecutors were desperate for dice of evidence. So, they didn't solve it? On the contrary. It was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. Executed? Yes, that criminal got what came to him. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. The only problem was, they never did find a size of evidence, not a shred. What? But the criminal was executed, right? On the basis of evidence of a sort, made up evidence. What? You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? Okay, that's kind of fucked up. The best part came several months later after trial. Every detective involved in that case was dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen, others found themselves out of a job. And you were one of those? Myself and one other person you know well. Wait, it can't be. Exactly. Detective Jake Marshall. Oops, I mean Police Department Security Detail Officer Jake Marshall. Now he just pretends to be a cowboy. <laughs> As professional detectives, we investigated that case from every angle. Jake was practically determined. And then it was over. And then he was demoted. However... He hasn't forgotten, and neither have I. You haven't forgotten SL9? There was another side of that case, a hidden side. That's what we're after now. And no one up in our fancy offices can stop me. Wait, whatever. Wait! What those lunches you sell? They're the only reason I come to sell lunches in this... In this... Accursed office. I came here to meet my old boyfriend. Boyfriends that help me investigate. Miss Star's old boyfriends. How many does she have anyway? Just when all the detectives in the SL9 have disappeared, we find new evidence. There has to be a connection. So, rookie. What? It seems like you are serious about investigating this case. Yes. Then you can take this. Uh. Salisbury steak lunch? I kind of want to eat that. It's got butter on it. I know a certain guy who might help you if you attempt him with this treat. Is it missile? Oh. oh. It's not missile. <laughs> I, I miss him. I know. Missile doesn't come back for a little bit. I'm sorry. Um, Miss Star? Officer Marshall, is he your, uh, are you his, are you g g g going out? Why would you want to know? I was just wondering what happened to him. A long time ago, when he was helping my sister do cases, he was so nice. He got along so well with my sister. It made me jealous. And he was nice to me too, back then. This would be when Officer Marshall was detective. But now, now he's so cold. Jake and I were merely cooperating in this investigation. We're putting that past to rest, as it were. Nothing more than that. I, I see. Thank you. Officer Jake Marshall, hmm. Alright, I can get out of here. Wait. Finally, you don't have to talk to her anymore. Only some my knowledge. Look, a door, this must mean something. I'm not sure doors mean anything. No, it won't open a mysterious lock. I failed to see what's so mysterious about this. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life more. 
Let's finish our investigation first, shall we? Oh yeah. Aha! Uh -huh, a ladder! Um, that's a step ladder. What's the difference in scientific terms, please? Uh, scientific, huh? Look at the basic nature of the thing, Mr. Wright. It all seems so horribly familiar somehow. Here, a phone. Let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff we don't need to be touching. I can't hear anything. My ears! Oh, no, my ears! Maybe it's through the parametric pressure. What is she blabbling about? Hey, what did you just say? See, you can hear me just fine. The phone's broken. Check out this wall. So this is the famous divider. It sure helped us knock a hole in that testimony today. I don't think... Oh. Come oh, think sorry. of it, that divider helped our case more than the actual witness. The great divider, a chip off the old parking block. It's just a wall. <laughs> it's not just a boulder, it's a rock. A rock. I think that's everything. That's where you pay for your ticket. This is where the cars leave the lot. The air on the ground makes it look like the entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. Well, maybe it's both. Kind of like a dual purpose. Aha! Uh -huh. Theory of rel relativity. What? Uh. I gotta write this down. Ah, hey, hey, Mr. Ray, maybe you know. Was Mr. Relativity German or was he British? I hope he's not British. Mr. Relativity, are you sure that that's his name? Er... Oh, yeah, I forgot. I was like, who's in the fucking thing again? I forgot Lana got her. Lana Sky got arrested. Oh, the detectives are yelling at her. How did you kill him in two places at the same time? Can you imagine? How could she answer that? <laughs> Wait a second. Didn't Mr. Dan say that they arrested a suspect in the police department murder? Let's come back later. Huh. Time to go to criminal affairs. Never mind. Oh, hi, Emma. It's even busier today than it was yesterday. The detectives are running around so fast they're blurry. I suppose it makes sense. The detective did get killed here, after all. So, the evidence room. The scene of the crime. According to the pamphlet we got at the front desk. D here it is! She's like a kid in an amusement park. Ooh, a real crime scene. Let's go take a look. So, I mean, they have pamphlets that just has, like, a, a floor map of the entire place. Cool. I wonder whose office this is. I wonder. What's with the decor in this place? It's very eccentric. According to the pamphlet, this is the guard station for the evidence room. Do we on that door is the evidence room? The scene of the crime? It sure seems that way. Oh. Oh! What's wrong? It's those cacti. They're so prickly, so imposing, it's hard to think straight. I keep thinking gay. <laughs> if you can't handle the cactus, stay away from the desert. What I want to know is if there's a guard station, where's the guard? I have a feeling I know who he is already. There's no way it's Jack Marshall. It's no way it's Jack Mihoff. <laughs> it looks like there's a video feed for the evidence room here. There's a light blinking below the monitor. It says... Recording. I bet we can use this computer to check on who went in and out of here. Huh. Well, case solved. Also, there's so much fucking liquor here. Yipes, these sure are prickly. They must be the real deal. I only think just one... Just one big one would be significant. These cacti are a lot like my sister, actually. Oh my god. Green and spiky. Uh, how so? Encased in a cold, rigid shell with spines pointing in every direction. Aww. Just like her. I'm not sure I see the resemblance. It's more an attitude thing than a physical similarity. Yeah. There's a security guard uniform hanging there. It looks like a costume than a uniform, honestly. A leather jacket, leather pants, leather... What was I called again? A punchy? A paunchy? A pinchy? I know, a poochy! Hmm. 
Maybe that wasn't it. I got a poncho, but I think I'll keep that information to myself for the meantime. I thought she meant like one of the like the, the fanny packs. <laughs> like a punt. Look on the floor, a lasso. You're a lasso. Oh, it looks like it's set up for a trap or something. A trap? Here? Wait, I know. Maybe someone was trying to catch a wild bull in here. But the lasso missed. You sure have an active imagination. Emma's so underrated. I love her. Wait, can we examine the door? And then go in? The evidence room is beyond that door. Let's just walk in. It won't open. Fuck! You thought it would open? I think we need someone's permission to go in there first. Oh, so we need to find Jack. Jack me off. Yeah. Hugh Mungus. Wait, what the fuck? Okay. This place is charged with the frantic energy as always. Please! Oh, what's that? <gasps> One steak lunch, please. Oh, it's you. Detective Gumshoe! Now's no time for chit chat, pal. I'm a busy man. What I really need is a is a steak lunch from Lunchland. Oh, you mean one of these? Actually, it's not for sale. Oh, I think I just heard the sound of his heartbreaking. Now is no time for despair. We caught our criminal. Now we just need evidence. The criminal? You mean? You heard about the stabbing in the police department evidence room, right, pal? <laughs> on the day, on the same day, the detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot. Another detective was killed in the police department. And the perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just the rest of them, in fact. It's the biggest scandal to hit the station in ages. Everything's topsy turvy. But Teddy Gumshoe, who was it? Listen, pal, all I know is I need me a steak lunch, pronto. Standing around here talking isn't gonna fill my belly. Aww. Wait, don't leave. If you wanna know more, head on down to the detention center, pal. Questioning should be over, so I figure he's down there having a good cry. I was a guy. Later. Okay, bye, Gumshoe. I love him. He ran out to the evidence room. Well, this investigation is off to a running start. So is that our hint to go back to the the detention center then? Wrong way. We're on the wrong way of these menus. <laughs> I guess our office and then. Oh yeah, we haven't gone here yet. Look, it's the blue badger. Wow, everyone looks deadly serious here. Well, there was a vicious murder of a detective down at the police department. Yeah, but the same detective was also killed at the same time at the prosecutor's lot. Oh, it makes my head hurt. Well, first things first, let's check out the police department's crime scene. Yes, you sound dead. Set on investigating. But don't mess up or we could wind up dead. I doubt anyone wants more mysteries or dead bodies around here right now. <laughs> but it does look like everyone going... I don't, it doesn't look like anyone's going to help us much either. I don't know how much shit that we have here since it took place in the other one. That must be the chief of detectives. He's glued to his computer screen. D what? Detective killed in the defense in the evidence room? Tell no one outside the police department. No, I told that old lady in the restaurant everything. Someone's getting a demotion. <laughs> that poor guy. <laughs> ah, this is the police department mascot, isn't it? The Blue Badger, the future star of the police force. The design's a little changed from the one outside. Ah, well, the dancing... Ah, well, the dancing Blue Badger trademark is still under development, you see? You have it trademarked? Absolutely. It's cutting edge stuff. Really, very now. I shoved this doll here for my daughter and she burst into tears. Don't show her the moving mock-up outside then. You'll give her nightmares. <laughs> The poor daughter. Oh. Hey. 
Have you have we met everyone in this game? Oh, so I love your hair. Do you think we're gonna see Lana or the guy that they arrested? The guy. Still, I do feel better about things. A little. I mean, they caught the person who stabbed Detective Goodman, didn't they? Uh, yeah, I guess they did. But it's not to go further down the road now. Things are just getting confusing. What, what was that? Sir, this is what I'm saying. Me a perpetrator? I ain't saying I'm the perpetrator again, sir. That's what I said. Oh my gosh, it's... <laughs> oh, oh uh, hi. Greetings, sir. Wait, I know who you are. Excuse me, wait, is Mr. Edward uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. Officer Meekins, so you're a guard here at the detention center? No, sir, I'm not, sir. I'm a little lost patrolman, like a little lost lamb, sir. Oh, I get it. You're here to deliver a report? No, sir, I, uh, how do I say this? Wait, he isn't... is he? You, Officer Meekins? You didn't, did you? Um, perpetrator Officer Meekins reporting, sir. What? 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 Now this is actually an unexpected turn of events. <laughs> oh, his little badge and, the, and his little ID card is him saluting like that. Yeah. <laughs> what, oh. you, what you know about this, Officer Meekins? Officer Meekins, you go to the... Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Real sorry. I have no idea what that is. Maybe you should ask Mr. Edwards, sir. He's passing the buck, Mr. Wright. It takes a special kind of man to pass the buck to Edgeworth. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? <laughs> sir, I'm a patrolman of the general affairs. Sir, sir! Now oh, I can hear you fine, Officer Meekins. I had some business that day, sir, so I went to the evidence room, sir. The guard station in front of the room is empty, sir. So normally there's a guard at the evidence room? That's right, sir. Because the evidence is kept in the, op um, in the evidence room, sir. <laughs> now the security officer was none other than Officer Marshall. M Marshall? Wow, I couldn't guess that. Then, sir, it happened at a glance at the security room monitor. That's what I saw him, sir. A suspicious person in the evidence room. A suspicious person, sir. A suspicious person. <laughs> What the heck is this guy doing? <laughs> so, what happened then? After that, sir, I, I... Everything went white. I saw red. I blacked out. And then I came to... I was here in the detention, sir. He said... <laughs> How long were you out? Days? Uh, might I ask? What happened to your hand? Sir, there was no... There was no one to bandage me, sir. I did what I could to wrap it up, sir. A bandage on his hand. Just like Miss Sky. Yet yeah, another similarity between this case and the one in the prosecutor's office. First things first. Tell us how you hurt your hand. Well, first, tell me about the victim. I don't mean to pry, but you are the perpetrator, correct? You killed Detective Bruce Goodman in the evidence room, right? Sir, please don't look at me like this, that puppy dog guy, sir. If you had to label me a perpetrator, a victim, sir, then label me a victim. Uh, I would, but you had to be in detention and alive and well at that. Oh, well, yeah, that's true, sir, I suppose so. Well, you, do, you, do you know the victim, Detective Goodman? Well, sir, if I had to label him a stranger or a total stranger, then I'd say he leaned heavily towards total stranger side. So you didn't know him? Sir, I worked in this tiny department devoid of light and other creature <laughs> comfort. I don't know any detectives. So even if he was a total stranger, why did you stab him? Sir, I had no intention of killing him, sir. None. Nor did I have any recollection of killing him, sir. At least someone around here is more confused than I am. Poor guy. <laughs> About your hand, did that happen during the course of the crime? Well, you see, sir, well, I, um... What? 
Oh, are you okay? Sorry, I just like <laughs> blanked for a moment there. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Are you falling asleep? Um, I am like drifting off. It's a, you want to hold my plushie? Sure. Okay. I just got a plushie. Here, you, you tap oh. the buttons. I think I think the motion is getting repetitive and. So, oh. <laughs> and you can play with the little Rocky, the little tart plushie. I'm gonna hold it. Yeah. But sir, sir, but there's nothing I can do. Nothing you could do? Sir, to tell you the truth, sir, when I when it happened, when the detective pointed that knife at me, I just hollered, sir. And the next thing I knew, I was unconscious. <gasps> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Be like, he got his neck snapped. <laughs> yeah, he just he just yells and then dies. It's like when you get cut off when you're talking in like a, a video game, like yeah. the, like those ones that like have a in-game chat, mm -hmm. and then it like cuts off when you die. Yeah. You're just like ah. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing you knew, you were huh? Then when I opened my eyes, I was alone in the evidence room, sir, all alone, alone because. Because the Detective Goodman had disappeared. What? Then when I looked down, I was gushing blood from my hand, sir. Oh, the shock, the sorrow, sir. Can you imagine how I felt? The victim's body disappeared? Hmm, that's some story. Oh. Do you want to show him anything? Yeah. No, I don't want to fucking... Why? Oh, thank you. Officer Meekins, have a look at this. Uh. Go ahead, sir. Laugh. Laugh at me, sir. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I know what you want to say. You're going to tell me how she's the one... She has one just like it. M me? Why would I? I know, sir. I know. I'm the only one without a girl with matching badges. Nowhere. I'm alone. All alone. What's so wrong? Life isn't about high school sweethearts and your youthful romance, sir. Is he talking about those badges on a, on her coat? Hmm. I like to think there's a difference between my badge and the fashion accessory. Alright, what do you want to show him? I want to show him the blue badger. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> I'm used to games being a button. Officer Meekins, can you take a look at this? I'm sorry, sir. Real sorry, but you want to you yeah, I passed the buck quick to Edgeworth. Alright. Uh... Hmm. This? God damn it, I pressed the fucking button again. It's why? Me can take a look at this. Alright. Uh... Hmm. Look at this knife! Oh! Oh, I'm scared at night, sir. It's okay, I just wanted to take you a That's it, sir. Last night, sir. That's the one. I was an apple, sir, in, a, in my dream, sir, and I was, I was being peeled. <laughs> <laughs> poor Meekins. On second thought, you don't have to look at the knife. Hmm. He's overreacting to the knife. I guess he's been through a lot. Hey, would you look at this? Officer Meekins, this is for you. Scary knife, sir. And he says the same thing. That's a different knife, Mr. Meekins. What about this shoe? God damn it, motherfucker! Can you look at this shoe. Uh, all right, I think I, I think. I he think he's got gonna, everything. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's not gonna tell us shit. I think we move. All right, we're two. I'm to the parking lot. Okay, uh, move. Oh, you can go to Edgeworth's office. Yeah. Hi, Edgeworth. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Edgington. Well, this place is classy as it today as it was yesterday. And I'm sure it'll still be just as classy tomorrow, Emma. Incidentally, Edgeworth's not here. I'm sure he's off doing important investigations. Maybe Miles investigations? Burr, burr. <laughs> I hope that's what he's doing. Question mark? I guess we'll have to come back. Move. <laughs> Move, bitch. <laughs> Move. Oh, wait. Is Marshall back? No. Keep moving. Okay, where the fuck do we go now? 
here? Wait, wasn't that Detective Goodman's hat at the guard station? Oh, was it? Isn't that hat? Isn't that hat? What the? No, no, he wears like a like a brown one. Here, hold on. And then. Yeah, see this. No, is the I hat. said Detective Goodman's. His is white with a gray band. That's that has polka dots on it. I can I can examine it. No, it's it counts with the cactus. Oh, what about this? This swinging door makes the place look kind of like a saloon. But look, it's nailed shut. You can't get it get in that way. Of course not. If you went in through here, the cactus would fall over. Ouch! I'd say it's more of a yarch myself. Okay. Okay, that was kind of. <laughs> where, where, where the fuck are we supposed to go? I have no idea. Maybe we can figure that out in the next one. <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah. Because uh, it seems like a, f a fair enough stopping point. Yeah. Uh, These last couple of You really took me more. back to the bitch that I. Hate. I want music to be playing. Okay, that's fair. Uh, Here, yeah. no, I'll do you a favor. No, no, no. Fuck, god damn it! Uh, I thought you were just covering up her face. I was like, thank god. I was trying to. Hit LB. Thank there you, you go. Thank you. We just like turn over and, Mar <laughs> and Marshall's just like staring at us here. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, we found him. <laughs> yeah. But. Yeah, alright, so... Did we even really figure anything out? We're supposed to talk to Marshall and get him a steak. Yeah. And then Meekins was arrested. Yeah. On the suspect of murdering the guy in the evidence room. So Meekins, look at Meekins is probably getting <laughs> framed. Yeah. Unless he's a cold-blooded murderer. You think... He comes... I told you he comes back! <laughs> yeah, it would be kind of funny if he's a murderer. I don't think murderers don't think come back in any of the games. Well, there was one. But he comes back in Miles' investigations, but he's not that important. Yeah, but yeah, we haven't figured out much. We, so I don't think we're any more closer to the to getting to the bottom of this. Yeah. But uh, yeah, in the next one, we'll get to go find where Marshall is at, and hopefully, give him a mistake. He's gonna be like, "Damn, is that is that from Texas Roadhouse?" <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite place. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. No, it's, it's, I was thinking the Outback. <laughs> <laughs> this is this reminding me of Texas. <laughs> do you think he's actually from Texas, or do you think he's just like what puts on persona? Yeah, he's he's just like he just like watched like one Texas documentary, and he's like, oh, oh my gosh, those guys are so cool. It's like one of those uh, like the anime enjoyers that gets too into anime that they like become like a weeaboo and like and like use like Japanese in their everyday. Whereas this guy watched like a bunch of cowboy. It's like the reverse thing with the Ken in the Barbie movie where he got really the horses. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. And no, except no, instead no, of he... going for the patriarchy, he was like, damn, I want to become a, de a detective and, and ride horses and. Yeah. Shoot guns and have a cactus in my room. <laughs> yeah, that, that's actually why he had to step down for, as a detective because he was riding on a horse, shot his gun, and killed someone. <laughs> yeah, unlucky. <laughs> but, anyways, thanks for watching. Yeah, and we'll see y'all yeah. in the next one. Yeah, bye. Bye bye.